well, a bunch of questions, but this one was, was intriguing. Is the person who's going to live to be 150 years old already maybe here in the audience or, or born? And then my corollary to that, you know, what, what's the upper limit? Will Ray Kurzweil make it? Oh, right. <laughs> I hope Ray makes it. Yeah, we all root for him, right? Yeah. He's the poster boy for this. He is. Uh, well, I think it's, it's feasible that somebody could make it to 150. Remember, people born today will, even if we don't succeed, will still see the year, what, 2120. That's a long way in the future. A lot is going to happen in those years. You know, what were we doing 100 years ago? We were learning how to fly, and you know, we didn't even have antibiotics. So remember that, that it's not today's technology that future or people living today will have. They'll have uh, things that we can't even dream of. Uh, but you know, I, I, get, I get criticized for saying that somebody could live to 150. Um, but I, would, I also am of the belief that uh, you should never say never. Uh, I think it's feasible. What I think is, is really realistic is that more and more people are going to make it to 90 and 100 in a healthy way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we tend to think, you know, we look at people who are 90 and 100 and think, why would I ever, ever want to reach that age? But what we should remember is getting to that point, first of all, it means that you can be healthy, 60, 70, 80, 90, playing tennis, hanging out with your great-grandkids. That's important. So we're extending up the health span, not just lifespan. Uh, but perhaps those 90, 100-year-olds um, who make it there are going to be living much healthier lives. And what's interesting is the mice that make it out there into that later life, uh, what we find is that they die more quickly. So we're rectangularizing the mortality curve, which is something that I think any sensible person would think is a good thing. There was that study recently that said that humans, it was looking at statistics, there's a, a sharp cutoff in human longevity at about 120 years, something like that. I think it was a French study. Is there any gist to that or? Uh... Yeah, so the longest lived person, at, and even that's debated, is 122. Yeah. There appears to be a barrier, but none of these people had done anything except yeah. perhaps drink red wine and yeah. have a sense of humor. We have better technology than that now, so who knows what's possible. Yeah, maybe the humor gets better. On that note, thank you very much. I